Hi Crafty Friends, it's time for another index card for the Index Card the Day challenge on Instagram. So for this one I used this obviously failed mixed media face that I had from my very first art journal where I tried different things um, and yeah this was one of my very first mixed media faces. And the reason why I haven't thrown it away until now was that I loved this hair. So um, this was made with Faber-Castell gelatos, some um, coloring pencils that are water soluble and um, yeah, this white dots and stripes came from my loved Correctus pen that has a really white color in it. And um, as you perhaps know, I made this rule for myself that I wanted to have these white dots on my cards and so I decided to use these little circles from the hair. Um, inspired by Alice Love's drawing on Instagram, I made this little daisy. She has really incredible tutorials on how to make flowers and um, yeah, paint flowers or draw flowers with these uh, black um, pens. So I used a 0.1 pen for the um, petals and a 0.5 one for this inner part of this daisy. Um, I erased my circles here as you can see and then I began with the shading. It was a really easy job after I saw this tutorial, this little um, Instagram tutorial. And I did everything exactly like she did it and I think for my first attempt it looks really good. So I was really surprised about this dimension of this flower and I only did what she um, told me in this tutorial and that was really incredible and um, yeah, an outstanding experience I would say. I've cut this flower um, out and left a little frame so that it looks like a fuzzy cut flower with this yeah, um, frame that we all love. <laughs> and then I tried to arrange the circles with the flower. I show you here different possibilities. So um, in the end I came up with this. I liked it that it is really straight because yeah, this flower looks a little bit straight as well and very clean. Um, and then I tried to get a little contrast with this uh, black uh, outlines around these circles. I blended them with this um, blending stump. If you want to do that by yourself, I would recommend to clean the um, blending tool afterwards. There's something like a sandpaper with that you can do that. So when you uh, want to um, draw something with a normal pencil afterwards and you want to do your shading so that you don't get um, this really black color from this uh, Stabilo oil pen to your um, new painting. So that's a little bit uh, tricky, but it's possible. And it gets a little bit more controlled than when you do it with your finger. In the next step, I decided that I want a black frame around the whole card as well. So I took my oil pen um, again and scribbled around the card and then I smeared this color with my finger. And then I thought, okay, I would like to have a little break uh, of these um, circles. So I wrapped this thread around the card, fixed it with some washi tape on the back. And then I arranged this single thread so that they cross each other a little bit. And um, yeah, so that this stays in place, I added some washi tape at the corners of this card so that everything uh, stays there where it was and then I glued the flower so I wanted to glue the flower sorry first I did some stenciling because I thought the flower um, looks a little bit naked so I took the stencil and um, Tim Holtz vintage photo distress ink and made this little dots in the background so that it also um, it's not such black anymore. So I wanted to have a little um, color spot that's not in this pink and black color scheme. So I think that turned out really great and the dimension of this daisy comes out a little bit more as well. In the end I thought okay let's make some smaller dots. I only had this uh, yeah, office punch machine there. <laughs> so normally I would that do that with my um, hand punch that makes one hole and I can control it a little bit better, but yeah, I think it worked. 
um, and as you can see you can also use the tiny things of your pieces and even such a failed mixed media piece can be a really cool thing in the end even if you can't see anymore that it was a face so <laughs> perhaps that's good um, yeah I went around with my black pen uh, yeah around this little circles here so that they stand out in the same way like the bigger circles and yeah that's it I think that turned out really great I I like it really much and I was really surprised about this daisy so if you like this please give me a thumbs up for this video share it with your friends if you like um, and I would be really happy if we see the next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit this little notification bell so that you get informed when I upload a new video. I would be really happy to uh, read a comment what you think about that. And until the next time, I wish you a really happy crafty time. And I say bye bye.